your breakfast. It's 17 minutes to eight. It is nice when a project that does so much good gets a little bit of recognition, isn't it? Well, for the first time, a social housing project has won the Supreme Award at the Property Industry Awards. Home Ground on Hobson Street in Auckland, just around the corner from us here at TVNZ, is home to Auckland City Mission and was designed by Stevens Lawson Architects. Joining us now is Helen Robinson, Auckland City Mission Chief Executive. Good morning. Good morning. How are you doing? Really, really well. Congratulations on the award. What an achievement, Helen. It's uh, Friday night was just an extraordinary night. We were so excited that the the beauty and the hard work and the purpose of Home Ground was really, really recognised by the Property Council. I was just saying to you in the ad break, it's, it's on my walk home from work, so I see it every day, and it truly is a beautiful building. Really, really beautiful. It's 11 storeys, so um, it's obviously not small. In those 11 storeys, there are 80 apartments for people to live permanently. So part of the joy or the magic of the building is that we're genuinely providing homes for people. Um, it's it's light, it's open, um, people are, are made to feel welcome. We have a whole range of services apart from the housing. So we have a medical centre as well. Uh, we have a detox unit, so two floors, one run by the hospital and one run by us. Uh, services like uh, we have a service called Hayata, which provides one good meal every day for anyone who's living on the street or really vulnerable. So we have a commercial kitchen. Honestly, Maddie, I could go on and yeah. on. It's just, it's a beautiful building. Um, tell me about the background behind this because it's obviously um, a beautiful building, but with a beautiful building comes expenses, especially when you're trying to fit as much into it as you guys have. So tell me about cr actually being able to create this space. Totally. So um, Home Ground is an absolute labour of love and only made real by the literally thousands of people, certainly in Auckland and then throughout our country, who have made this real. It's been a 15-year journey. Um, our base here at Hobson Street that you started with for a number of years just really was not fit for purpose. Every time it rained, I used to have a water feature in my office. Um, just as a really, really good example. And uh, we knew that we had to do something, and this was obviously at the, really the beginning of the crisis of not enough homes. We went to Auckland and Auckland said to us, whatever you do, Auckland City Mission, make sure you build homes. So that then became part of the journey. Um, our board took a huge leap of faith, um, uh, began the conversation with our architect, Stevens Lawson, and obviously negotiated with our builders, built environs, and then just began this journey over the last couple of years. Um, we, I officially got the keys on the 24th of December last year, the world's best Christmas present, and then we moved into the building and February of this year. And so. what kind of a difference has it made since it's opened to the people that use the services and the accommodation in there? I think one of the, the most magic things to see happen is the day that that individual knows that they have a home. If you can imagine what it's like for often for many, many years suffering the reality of homelessness, either on the street or in some kind of emergency or transitional housing, to then be told that day that this is your home for the rest of your life. It's that's We start to talk about miracle territory that's just unbelievable and of the 80 apartments we have just over 50 people living in there now already and what we're beginning to see is a really lovely community being developed we have a rooftop garden and some uh, general um, area shared area on the rooftop for all kinds of activities and processes um, uh, the two floors of our detox unit it's this is the first time that there is a hospital service floor within a um, social service agency like ours and the, we're literally only a floor apart. So to be able to, the, the connection between these two services, so our own social detox and then the medical withdrawal services for that to happen. Uh, we have a beautiful big primary health care centre, which, uh, as you can appreciate, in the last couple of years, it could not be more important. Um, so for us to be able to provide really good primary health care to some of our most vulnerable. So as people are coming into the building throughout the laneway, the ground floor on Hobson Street, it's it's held together. Like the spine of the building is this extraordinary, actually public laneway that is made out of this beautiful brick and wood, uh, actually throughout the whole building. So people, anyone comes in, maybe you're welcome to come in. Um, we have a service every day called Hayata where people come in for breakfast.
breakfast or brunch and that that is literally opposite our medical center so that means that our doctors and our nurses can be just just in a very very normal low-key relational way connecting in with people and and seeing how we can help um you'll appreciate for people who are really really vulnerable or living on the street their physical health is mm. often and mental health is really compromised so to be able to offer that care in an integrated manner it's magic i mean it obviously does a lot but also the fact that it's won this pop property industry award means it's a, a beautiful building and i was thinking about what that means for the people that that use it and the word that came to me was digni dignity it gives them a sense of pride and dignity in, in, in the services that they're needing to access or the accommodation they're needing to stay in, right? It gives all of us that dignity and in fact one of the things I've said before is that the beauty, the literal beauty of home ground is an act of justice. Every one of us um, has the, the human right actually to live in a place and to be part of a place that is um, good and beautiful and appropriate and just simply meets, meets our needs there's nothing about home grounds that is excessive or ostentatious it is simple and it is beautiful and and people feel at home and welcome and and there is nothing more magic than that beautiful how have things been over the last couple of years because you know we talk a lot on this show about how tough people are doing it which is you know people that are living in their own homes have their families and everything like that but for those that are really doing it tough that are living on the streets it must be even harder at the moment totally and the, and the, the mission works with three different kinds of areas or three different groups of people those who are suffering the reality of homelessness and as you said from March or two and a half years ago now the challenges that, that people who suffer such have been extraordinary and um, the mission has worked hard both with our partners, other NGOs and our government to really do everything that we can to support each and every individual to come indoors and stay indoors. The, the compromised health of people is a really big story so to be able to offer, as I said, that primary health care, to be able to do testing and vaccination and boosters, we have an outreach team that literally goes to people on the street so to be able to take a nurse out to someone to give a vaccination who really in no other circumstances would be willing to do so has just been incredible. And then finally, the big story of the mission over the last couple of years has been people who don't have enough money for food. Mm. To access food at the mission um, for in a food parcel, you actually have to have a street address. So this is just for the thousands and thousands of Aucklanders who literally uh, are in homes but don't have enough money for food. And uh, in the last... Uh, financial year we distributed nearly f over 50,000 food parcels every one of those feeding a family of four for three meals for four days so the the extraordinary increase of need and and I've publicly said before that we really are in the midst of a food crisis so what do you need then Helen so home ground and in fact the Auckland City Mission only exists because of the generosity of everyone so if people are uh, in a position we genuinely appreciate their support we can uh, through donations the best way to do that is through our website uh, people who uh, can volunteer for us but also I do want to acknowledge uh, through home ground the many many organizations that have given us their skill and their time and I do particularly do want to acknowledge our architect Stevens Lawson and our builders built environs TSA the project managers and our QS's whites associates the four of them and all the other consultants have made the impossible possible and the ordinary extraordinary and look what's happened you're award winners now unbelievable yeah um helen thank you so much for coming in and congratulations on thank the you. success of home ground and on the award as well that's helen robinson from the auckland city mission really thank appreciate you. your time this morning thank you for having me yeah thank you